Hi everyone, welcome back to JIB. In the past few days, I'm getting so many requests to cover the coding questions in my videos, and many subscribers are sending me interview questions which they faced in their interviews. So I thought let's make a series on it, and I will cover each and every question in this series. In this video, we will try to cover Java 8 interview question which is on coding, and we will solve it using Stream API. We have this question which is how to count occurrence of each character of a string in Java 8. Now this question has been asked multiple times without using Java 8 but nowadays it has been asked to solve using Java 8 so in this video I'm exactly explain that how you can solve the, this question using Java 8 this will be a two part video in the first part we will discuss the logic behind it how you going to solve it and in the second part we will try to solve this problem using intellij or eclipse any id here i am using eclipse i will also give you some time stamp of these two parts if you directly want to jump to the coding part you can jump but i will highly recommend you to watch the logic part as well so i will try to explain you the logic behind it using a string i will create a string called str I am a Java developer. So I have this string. Now I have to find the occurrence of each character, which means if I have i here, I have to count how many times i is present in this entire string. So as you can see, i is present only once. That means the count of i is one. The next character is a space. And as you can see, the space comes in this entire string one, two, three, four times. That means the count of space is four the next character is a that means you have to count the occurrence of a in this entire string a is coming 1 2 3 4 times that means the count of a is also four you need to find the count for each character and you need to print this as this way so let me tell you how you going to do it you will do it this in two steps in the step one you will get all the unique characters from this string so as you can see i space a m and then j v d these are the unique characters in this string in the next step what you will do you will you will iterate each and every unique character and try to match it with the original string once you found the match you will increase the count for that character by 1 so suppose you are iterating i and you are iterating with each character of this string so first you will match i with this i that means the count here the count Initially it was zero, but you have now increased it to one. Then again, you you will try to match i with each and every character, but you haven't found it. That means the count of i is one. Same thing you will do with the space as well. You will try to find the space and you will try to match with each character. Once you found the space in the place of any character in this string, you will increase the count by one. So at the final result, you will get the count as four. Let's try to implement these two steps in our coding part. So here we have a class, and inside the class we have a main method. Now what I will do, I will create a, a string. I will create a string. I am. I will copy the string here. Or instead of creating a string and uh, instead of writing our logic in the main method, I will create a generalized method in which we can pass any string, and this method will print the count of each character. I will create a static method. and i will name this method this will be a void method and i will name this method as count occurrence and this method will take input as a string now in this method we have to write the logic so as i already mentioned that uh, we have to do it in two step in the first step you need to find the unique character from the given so for to find the unique characters first i what i will do i will convert this string into a character array and then i will use a set and put all the elements from that character array into this set so as you already know that set stores only unique value only distinct values so only unique values will be there in that set so first i will create a array which is str array and i will take this input string and use the to char array method of string which will return a array of characters so now we i have this character array which has all the characters from that string now i will create a set a set which will have all the characters i will use tree set in this then i will create a loop a 
for loop and iterate each character from that array which is str array and inside the loop I will use add method of set and try to insert all characters from that array to this set now this set will have only unique values let's just test that uh, this set has unique values or not so let's just print those values to print those values what I will do outside this I will use for each method and in for each I will print all these values let's just run this code to understand that uh, if we are able to print the oh I haven't given the input I haven't called the method so let's just call this method and pass this str string as well so as you can see here we can able to see all the unique characters and these are in sorted order as well why this is in sorted order we are using preset here that's why so after getting all the unique characters I will implement the next step in which I will iterate each and every unique character from this set and try to match it with the original string when we found the match we will increase the count by one so for that purpose again I will create a new for loop and in this for loop I will try to iterate this set now this care set each character from this set so to count the occurrence here I will use Java it. now to use Java it what I will do I will convert this string to a stream and use that stream so I will convert this input string to stream now to convert this string you are thinking that I have to use streams or parallel stream methods but no there is one more method called cares method and this cares method also returns the character sequence in the form of stream so I will use this method now we have this stream of characters with us and in this stream of characters I will use filter method and inside the filter method I will pick each and every character which is fulfilling my condition and my condition here is the character of this input stream and the character of this set should match if this matches we will take uh, those characters only and then we will count occurrence of those characters I will create a I will create a variable here a long variable here and inside this method as well uh, I will print the occurrence of this character is now I will run our program to see if this works or not so as you can see it is running fine we are able to count the occurrence of each character and we also used java 8 here we used lambda expression and we used stream api and for that we have used cares method so i hope you understood this problem and let me know what you think what you guys think about this and uh, keep commenting your queries in the comment section and i will see you in the next video till then take care